I think I have found my favorite zoologist perfumes fragrance and it's called Elephant. This one right here, we're reviewing this. You're going to have a chance at winning a 10 mil mini of it as well. All coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. This is Dahlia. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, I really love Elephant. And as soon as I smelled it, I told Victor, this is, this is the one for me. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very green. It's one of the greenest fragrances that I've smelled. But there's something about this that's very cozy and creamy and we're going to tell you all about it. But Dolly's a fan of it as well. That's why she's here reviewing the fragrance with me. We did Camel together. <laughs> we did. We reviewed, we reviewed Camel we reviewed together. We reviewed Camel together. <laughs> um, and that was when I discovered my um, love of the zoologist aesthetic and messaging. And like Camel, Elephant has a wonderful story. Um, inside the box, it's a beautiful box. Love the um, box. Love the packaging. It's very, very well done nice little fragrance coffin. So a little info about Zoologist Perfumes Elephant. This is an extrait de parfum concentration. The perfumer behind Elephant is Chris Bartlett. 60 ml bottle like this retails for $135. For notes in Elephant, you've got tree leaves, Darjeeling tea, magnolia, cocoa, coconut milk, there's a creamy part, incense, jasmine, woody notes, amber, musks, patchouli, and sandalwood. And one little info as well, Elephant is a finalist that was recently announced and is nominated in the independent category at the Art and Olfaction Awards. Congrats, huh? Congratulations. That's, that's awesome. That's really big. But what do you get with the Elephant? What do you, what do you, uh, how do you... Uh, cleanest, brightest, freshest, but long wearing, almost sparkling green. Um, that I found. And it's interesting, there's another green in the Zoologist line, I think it's Panda, that's more of a bamboo-y kind of a green. Mm. This is... Yeah, you're um, right. This is a very, a very I, I don't want to say it's a green green. Uh, it is it is remarkably the sum of its parts. I don't smell it and think like, oh, there's the sandalwood, oh, there's the amber or the musk. Um, it, it is very much like tree leaves and everything else supports that really well. I don't get any of the florals specifically. You get coconut though, right? Oh yeah, lots of coconut. And I do get the cocoa as well. There's this, it's almost like chocolate milk, but very, very faint chocolate milk, not like a really strong cocoa note. On me, it's, uh, it's so spa, clean, zen, Green. It is like a walk in a sunny, uh, tree-filled landscape that is not here. It's funny. Um, we're speaking about elephants, and many visuals I've seen of elephants kind of like coming through these big forests, and you know you can hear the noise, but all you see is tree, and then all of a sudden the elephant comes through. Right. I almost visualize that with this uh, fragrance because... The elephant's walking through all the shrubbery and the trees and the leaves, and there's probably like this essence and aroma in the air from the from the elephant, like breaking and crushing and stepping on these leaves and trees. So it kind of kind of feels like that's what you're smelling, the smell of the elephant that leaves the, the, the smell behind. Not the elephant itself, but the you know, all the trees and stuff. So it's a strong scent memory for me actually. I uh, had the opportunity to ride an elephant in Thailand years ago. Oh wow, I've never done that one. Um, it's they're enormous. Um, <laughs> My bad. Yeah, it was really cool. But I mean, I follow like the David Sherlock Wildlife Trust or something on Facebook, so I just see these images of um, of African elephants in the in the sandy kind of dry landscape. Um, and this is a different. I mean, this is probably representing more of the uh, an Asian elephant, um, where it's a more tropical. Uh, and it just kind of brings me back to that, where it was everything was so much greener than greener than green, like a very verdant landscape and um, different sort of foliage. This is, I mean, San Francisco is there are a lot more succulents, and you know, if you smell trees, it's like redwoods and sequoias and eucalyptus, and this is a different kind of green tree smell. But speaking of su succulent, I do get a succulent quality with this one. Agree. Yeah, like almost like um, aloe vera, like. Um, 
Agreed. Slightly gelatinous, a little bit like a pudgy. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It, it is. It's a. It's a very full kind of a. a very uh, like at the peak of of you know not like it's just been watered. A, a happy, well fed plant, maybe. Yeah. It's um beautiful and surprisingly it, it blends with the skin really well. It doesn't like sit on top of of the skin and just like it's a a green thing that is on top of whatever you're wearing, it's um, it's very much a part of of your skin scent. It, it combines really well, at least for me. It, it, it's a great, it's actually very, very cozy, and that's because of that coconut milk, I think. It has this like comfy, cozy vibe. But what I wanted to say about this is the elephant is known as this very gentle animal, unless you've actually you know, pissed it off or something. And the fragrance comes off like that. It's a very gentle, soft, elegant smell. And I, I find that, that, I find that, true about elephants. I don't see them as these big, ferocious, like scary animals. They're big. Protective and loving. Yeah, but they, they're very gentle, I think, gentle animals. So the fragrance kind of comes off very gentle and soft. Maybe it has a dark side that develops. It didn't on me. No, um, it doesn't. It doesn't develop on me. It's very, very soft. It's a soft, soft fragrance. Yeah, a, um, uh, what is it? An herbivore, not a carnivore. Yeah, perhaps these are the ingredients that the elephant likes to eat, although we don't see any peanuts in the notes. Aw, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. But um, we, we've collaborated on, um, we, we, we both really like patchouli, we both really like incense, and both of those are listed as notes, which is interesting. Um, mm, no, 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 it doesn't pop through. But I, I wonder if there's some sort of subtext that we're both relating to because we like those notes so much. Maybe. Maybe the incense pops through a little more than the patchouli. I don't get much of the patchouli. There is a little bit of a smoky vibe. I mean, you've worn plenty of this, right? Yeah, I've, I I never noticed it either, if I'm honest. I never noticed the cocoa. I never noticed. The, no, I get the cocoa definitely. That's I, you know what though. You wear a lot more gourmands than I do, and you wear a lot of um, sweet things. Yeah, so maybe your maybe your skin brings it out more than mine does. I mean, it's really. Green. But you also said that you don't get the uh, floral notes. You don't pick up the magnolia in here? It's a big, big green magnolia note. I don't know if I have an association, a scent association for magnolia. Oh my god, they are so beautiful. They're beautiful They visually. smell so beautiful. I've never, I've never picked out what the smell is. In the spring there are so many things blooming. Um, at, at the time that the magnolia trees here bloom, I haven't, I don't know that I've I should walk up to the tree and like... Smell it? Yeah. There's a little bit of a slight citric kind of a note to it, but that it comes be. off very white. Like, if you smell white things, you, you, you can smell the whiteness of the magnolia. White flowers? Yeah. But it's not your typical like white flower like tuberose or gardenia or jasmine. I love those. Like the heavy, Yeah, those are heavy. White. This is more a neutral. This is very... Yeah, this is a bright... I get there is a citric quality, but it's um, very reminiscent of crushed leaves. It's the greenest fragrance to me, one of the greenest. And we recently featured it at number two in our top 20 green fragrances video. If you haven't watched that, please watch below. And uh, what else? I think the musks come through, but a clean... It's a very clean musk. It's not an animalic musk, not an elephant musk. And I drink a lot of tea. I don't get a tea note from it. But it, it's, it's beautifully blended, mm. and it wears really Maybe well. Maybe a little bit of tea. Maybe a little bit of tea. Maybe you need to start drinking Darjeeling tea. I like Earl Grey. <laughs> but anyway, guys, have you tried Elephant from uh, Swallow's Perfumes? We want to wish him luck for this award. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Best of luck. Best of luck for you. Um, I think it's a great fragrance. I think you should definitely win. Um, I, I've been really into um, green fragrances lately, obviously. We did that green video, and this one actually did it for me. This is like my favorite. Although I did like Camel a lot, but I love this one a little more than Camel. This is the one I've worn the most from Zoologist. Yeah? I wonder what they're going to come up with in the future. We had great votes from you guys for the camel video. We had some really great suggestions for what you wanted to see next, so we're not going to ask you to do that again. No, let's ask him. Let's ask him. But they just did it. Okay. For like, they wanted peacocks. Guys, have you tried Zoologist Perfumes Elephant? Are you familiar with Zoologist Perfumes fragrances? 
Let us know which your favorite zoologist perfumes fragrance is so we can get a conversation started. Also, let us know what you like about zoologist perfumes elephant to participate in the giveaway. Let us know which note in the fragrance stands out the most to you. Good luck with the giveaway. It's a 10 ml bottle of elephant. Great for travel. Great for travel and it's a worldwide giveaway. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.